All right, I'm gonna be making a quick little ice cream, a little quick video for you. I'm gonna be using the Vitamix S50, and I'm just gonna get straight to it. There's no recipe, I'm just kinda of showing how I do things. Uh, this is gonna be basic as can be. There's no food religion or anything like that going on here. I'm just adding some, some milk. I have my predetermined, pre-measured, Flavoring has a sweetener for my ice cream. This is a Korean little snack, caramel salted peanuts. I'm gonna throw these in there for some flavor and they'll get blended right up. Throw those in there. Top it all off with ice cubes. This is not an instructional video. This is just some fun and entertainment for y'all. And to show you how I kind of use the Vitamix sound and feel with the tamper to know when the Vitamix is, is happy doing its thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go from slow speed, cram it to high speed. I think what I'll do is I'll just go on low speed and make sure all the ice cubes are getting crushed by the blade because this is a very small blade, very small base. So it needs some time to get some of the big cubes and crunch them down into something I can work with. And then I'll go to high speed and it'll just blend everything together in a few seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. Vitamix is chugging a bit. Now it's doing some heavy duty chugging. If it goes too long, what I do is I just tamper, try to get the, the motor to speed up. Just like that. Then I go ahead and push the rest in. This is all practice and mastery. It takes a long time to, uh, to get the hang of it, but once you do, you can pretty much do anything with Vitamix. See, it's taking more and more of the ice cubes. Almost there. There we go, now it's done. So when it gets all chuggy like that, I just use the tamper to kind of create an air pocket and speed up the motor. And the purpose of speeding the motor up is to get the fan going. And the fan is what takes away the heat so it doesn't overheat and stop. Because once the motor stops, that's it. You're gonna have to let it cool down for about a half hour. You don't really do damage to it because that's that's a protection thing that they have built in. And it's extremely, extremely helpful because sometimes you don't realize when you're pushing it too hard. This all, it all comes with time and mastery and practice. But that's, what, that's just the way it is. And I do it for a few seconds and then I push the rest of it in and let, let the machine grind it down. Now the way I did it, I kind of, the way I do this recipe, I kind of overload the machine. It really should take less ice, less ingredients. But because I kind of mastered the way to do it, I just do it that way. So that's going to be my ice cream and it's going to be extremely delicious.